<laughs> Please describe your childhood. What was it like? What was a typical day in your life, in your environment, with well, other children? Yeah, you know, uh, we always enjoyed ourselves because, you know, you lived around white and black. And that wasn't really a big problem every now and then they might call you a name, but uh, uh, you'd play and go on, you know. But otherwise, it was friendly. I see. So sometimes there were racist names right. said. Yes. What kind of a child were you? How would you describe yourself as a child? I was kind of quiet and kind of old-fashioned like. <laughs> <laughs> old-fashioned in what way? <laughs> they caught. In what way were you old-fashioned? Well, I liked to go and do the things uh, a lot of the youngsters did, but I didn't care for getting out a lot. I more or less stayed close to home and I liked school and things like that. You did? Mm -hmm. Were you a good student? Yes, I was. All right. <laughs> and what was it like growing up in Oklahoma in the 30s and 40s? What did, if you would give us a visual picture of your environment in Oklahoma at that time, what did it look like? Was it rural? Was, you know, will you tell us? Uh, my environment, by the time, as I said, I was the youngest child. By the time I got up old enough to remember, my folks had moved into town. And it was a normal life. Uh, as I said, my father had worked at school. Uh, we go to school and we would help him clean up and things like that. And then he did a lot to help us enjoy ourselves because there wasn't much to do around there. But they had American Legion, and he was American Legion, and there were several of those men that would open up what we call was a building, so that we would have some place to go for some kind of enjoyment. Oh, I see. But was in terms of the physical environment, did, were there rolling hills? Was it? Did you have farmland that you lived on, or was it more communal? Um, I just want to get an idea of what it looked like in the 30s and 40s. Well, now, like I said, I was born in 32. Yes. And we were, uh, at the time I was born, they had moved into Vanita because they lived out in the country before then. I see. So, so Vanita was more populated? It was a small place, but um, you had schools and things like that that you could go to where in the country uh, they didn't. And they moved from out of the country quite a few years before I was born. Okay. And then in terms of population, what what was the population of Vanita at that time? Do you know? I really don't know. I'm not good at figures. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was small, though. Very small. small. Like uh -huh. 3,000 people, you think, or less? Probably so, yes. yes. Yeah. And when you and you when you speak about the schools you attended, were these public schools or schools designated for Native Americans? These were public schools we attended to, and they were for African Americans. Oh, they were for African Americans because uh -huh. it was segregation. Right. So you had to, you had to because of the laws of the land at that time in terms of the United States government, you had to go to segregated schools because you are black. That's true. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Now, what about your teachers? Were they black as they well? They were black, yes. I see. Yes. Were any of them Cherokee black or any other of the nations? Well, I met, I, I really don't know because at that time you didn't even get involved in the, whether you were African American or something. Okay, uh, the only way that I got involved was my father and my mother would tell me, well, you're African American, but you also have Indian blood. You have Cherokee blood. But people weren't acting on it as they are today. Because really, you couldn't get in. They didn't, they, they're giving us a hard time now. And uh, you really couldn't get in uh, that they did anything or uh, tried to assume that you were one of them. Of course, the Indian people, if you were around them, they were very nice. And they treated you as brothers and sisters. Uh, this lately, 
this thing has changed so yes well, what so there weren't any native americans in your school all black people right. in your school right i see